All right, well, welcome to Shark Tank. Are you guys excited? Yeah. You better have a lot of energy, because you've been waiting for a long time. Uh, my name is Mindy. I'm the head of casting. Oh, wow. That just got real loud. Thank you. Uh, my name is Mindy. I'm the head of casting. Thank you guys so much for waiting. I appreciate it. Uh, we're excited to be back with the Business Expo, Small Business Expo. We've done a, this a bunch with them, so we very much uh, appreciate them kind of rolling out the red carpet for us. So you guys should definitely check it out, because obviously there's probably a lot of stuff here that can benefit you. Um, so, essentially, you guys are trying out for season 10, which is a pretty big deal. We're in our 10th season. Um, so, has anyone been to an open call already this year? Which one? Pit oh, Pittsburgh, okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Pittsburgh, all right, hi again. Uh, and who's new? Who's never been to an open call before? Woo, newbies. Uh, good luck to you. Um, so, how long do you guys get to pitch today? One minute, just like on the show. So, are we timing you? No. But you should have it about a minute. Um, so what we'll do is everyone has a wrist uh, a wristband that has a number on it. It's 101 to 150. That's the group I brought in. If you're above 150, you should not be sitting here right now. You should be enjoying the show or coming back. So we go in numeric order. We'll call you up. You guys are going to line up over there on that side. We call up at about 10 numbers at a time. If you have large items, like over here, uh, just just we'll figure it out but if you have big setups you should set them up as much as you can while you're waiting and then you can finish because this is the the interview tables so we'll be running we'll call your number we'll assign you to a table you do not get to pick who you get to pitch to we'll just tell you where to go does everyone have an application whether it's one page double-sided 12 pages or 20 pages it doesn't matter it all works so you'll hand your application to your casting associate which this is them. We have uh, Jackie. Go ahead and give them a round of applause. They have a lot of work to do. We have Erica. We have Adam. And we have Kiari. So they've all been part of the show for a couple seasons and they are fantastic. Um, so you'll give them your paperwork, you'll finish setting up, and then you'll go in and do your pitch. Uh, if you have notes, you can use them. We're not judging on you on if it's memorized or not today. You'll get there eventually if you end up on the show. So use your notes if you need to. Uh, you'll give your demo, and then we'll ask a couple follow-up questions, and then that is it. Then you will leave. You will leave that way, out the main doors. I encourage you to obviously go see the show if you haven't checked it out yet, but you can exit out that way. You will take the person you're with or whatever your stuff and exit, because guess what? I got hundreds more that I have to come and take your seat. Um, some things for you guys to know. You have to ask for money. This is not the price is right. You cannot ask for a dollar. Uh, you have to ask for money in exchange for equity. So make sure you know how much your money you're asking for. My advice on that is ask what you need for the next step. All of you are gonna value your company way more than you should today. And I'm here to tell you that you should bring it down a notch or two. Only ask what you need for the next step, not the next five. It's not money tank. This is the shark's actual money. And producers in LA will essentially decide if they want to move forward or not. So what we do after today is we take everyone's information back to LA. We talk to the producers about what you have going on. And they're the ones who will decide if they want to move forward with you or not. If they want to move forward with you, they will contact you. What, what, hold on. What's today's date? They will contact you sometime in the next month, next four weeks. So by the end of June, if you have not received a phone call or an email by the end of June, they have gone in a different direction. We do not have the manpower or time to call you and say, hey, you didn't make it. And that's a horrible phone call. So if you haven't heard anything by the end of June, they have passed for this season. Um, so again, you have to ask for money. Ask what you need for the next step, not the next five, because between now and filming, we know your business and your needs will change. And when producers are looking at your paperwork and we're talking to them about what you have going on, if you're valuing your company at 10 or 20 million and you have and you're pre-rev and have no sales or have, you know, semi-good sales, they will pass they could pass on you. So bring the valuation down. I guarantee all of you are way, way high valuation. So let's make it realistic for now so that you don't shoot yourself in the foot too soon and blow your chances. Um, let's see, oh, where did they go? 
you can only pitch one thing. So if you have different businesses, you can only pick one today to pitch. You cannot get another wristband and get back in line, you pick one thing. If you have a product with different SKUs, that's totally fine. But you can only pick one thing. If you have something else you want to pitch us, you can either go to another open call, we only have two left for this year, or you can send an email and save your money. We go through every single email in our inbox, we see everything, every single person at an open call. Um, or application, everyone should have an app as I said. Uh, food, we may or may not taste your food samples. Uh, some of us have food restrictions, food allergies, I get hives all the time, it's wonderful. Um, so we may or may not taste your samples. If we don't, do not be offended. If you move forward in the process, you will send us many, many samples, many. Which leads me into the next thing. If we take a sample today, it does not mean you're in a better position than someone else. We have to ship everything back to LA remind me to get boxes later we have to ship everything back to la uh, we don't have a lot of space because we have a lot of paperwork so we may or may not take your sample if you see someone leaving a sample and we don't ask you for yours it does not mean that it's better or not again if you move forward you will send the producer samples whatever you do is do not leave your prototype and do not ever send us your prototype because we cannot send anything back to you and that prototype is probably your one and only prototype so don't leave any prototypes does not matter if you pitch a guy or a girl. My staff knows what they're doing, so please trust them. That's why I hired them. So you won't get to pick who you get to give a female-oriented product and you get Adam or Kiari. They get it, because guess what? There's not five females on a shark panel. There's dudes also, so you will not get to pick. Um, if you have support, if grandma came to hang out, that's awesome. Hi, grandma. Grandma's not allowed up at the table. If you're a part of the pitch, you can come up. If you're helping set up, you can come up, but then you go back and sit. But if you're just here for moral support, you stay in the seat because grandma doesn't go on the show and sit by Mr. Wonderful and say, hey, how's Johnny doing? Chances are grandma hasn't even been flown to LA. So again, only the people that are actually part of the pitch get to come up to the tables. Um, when will you hear? About a month, I said. Unfortunately, the bigger our show gets, the more people want to try and use our show and scam people. So, if you're going to move forward, you will get a phone call or an email or both, but you'll only ever get a phone call from a 310 area code. If anyone calls you that is not 310 area code and they say they were Shark Tank, they're not. So I would advise you not. To, to engage with them, but that's completely up to you. Same thing as if we send you an email, it will be at sharktanktv.com. Any other email from any other one that says there was Shark Tank is not with us, so I don't encourage you to engage, but that's up to you. Um, last couple things and then I'm happy to answer questions is, chances are all of you have prepared a pitch. And you, in that pitch or in what the information you wanna tell us is how big your industry is. If I can get 1% of a $20 billion industry, take that out entirely, because A, that tells us nothing about you, which is what we wanna know today, and B, we all know how big all the industries are. That's not gonna help you. What actually will help you is taking that information out and filling it with something about you. You guys are the dreamers and the doers and the hustlers. You literally are doing what everyone wants to do. A lot of people want to do, I should say, not everyone. Um, and you are living the American dream. So fill it and tell us something that you've done or something that's at stake or what you've given up. If you're a single mom and you had to move in with your parents or you had to deplete your kid's college fund, you gave up your 401k, you moved home, whatever the, whatever's at stake, that's what you should tell us. You are more important than the industry. It's 50% about your business and 50% about you. All the sharks are self-made, all of them. No one has a silver spoon that was given to them. They all understand where you have been. I mean, Cuban said he ate ketchup and mustard sandwiches and ramen for years. So tell us something about you, not about your industry. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, the other thing is have energy. This is a TV show at the end of the day. Uh, so for those of you who are nervous, I get it, shake it out, like have a drink or something if you need. Uh, the good news is this is the easiest part of the whole process. It's only gonna get harder and harder and harder as you go. The good news also is none of us have any money to invest in any of you, zero. So it's like we're having a conversation 
Uh, again, it's not meant to be like a stuffy business meeting. Uh, have fun. We want to get to know you in a very short amount of time. Uh, a lot of us are listening, so if we're, we're not smiling, it's we're trying to listen. Uh, I have, for lack of a better term, resting bitch face, and I get called out, and it just is what it is. Thanks, Erica, for laughing. Um, so if I'm not smiling while you're pitching to me, it's not because I hate you. I'm just trying to listen because we're all taking notes about your companies because we have to relay it to the producers. So not all, all, not all of us will be like, hi, because that's fake and no one has time for that. Um, are there any questions? Yes. If you have stuff in your cars, you should go out and grab